they have small paws, but their mission is mighty and big. Help find these furry friends a home for Christmas. I'll give a little bit of your love to me. I'll give a little bit. Look at these adorable little snowballs with us now, all dressed up for Christmas in their fun Christmas sweaters. And if you would like to give them uh, the gift of a home for the holidays, um, we may have some answers. Yeah, for small, you. Uh, uh, small Paws Rescue has a big mission. They have rescued more than 95,000 Bichon dogs over the last 15 years. And joining us right now is founder Robin Presnall and director of adoptions Bonnie Ferguson. They both join us today from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Welcome back, ladies. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. Uh, why did you specialize in this kind of dog? You know, it was interesting. Back in 1998, I was looking for a dog to replace oh. one that had passed away. For one <coughs> of my other dogs, that was lonely. And I found an internet ad, and I didn't know what I was doing. And I found myself on the steps of one of the worst puppy mills in Missouri. Oh. And there was a Bichon. And thus, Small Paws Rescue was born. And so on, on your lap right now today, can you tell us about these yes. gorgeous little dogs? This is Einstein, and Einstein is a Bichon Poodle mix. And Einstein's owners, uh, he was used to using a doggy door, and they moved into a new house, and he didn't know how to uh, go outside, and so they took him to a shelter. Because he couldn't use the dog? Door? There was no doggy door, and so he was in danger of being euthanized, and Small Paws <gasps> rescued him in the last two hours before he was that right? to assume room temperature. <clears throat> so we we saved him, and he is five years old, and he is ready to be adopted. And then we have these two little great old guys, and they are a bonded pair. They've been together all of their lives, and they must be adopted together because they're very attached. <coughs> and this is Abby, and she is a seven-year-old Bichon, and this is Murphy, and he is a six-year-old Bichon poodle. And Murphy has a big personality, and he loves to just be into everything. And Abby is quiet, so they really complement each other in their personalities. If you have two dogs, you want a quiet one. All, all three are looking for homes right now. All three are looking for homes, as well as many others on our website. We have approximately 100 Bichons in rescue across the country. And in, since 1998, we have placed 9,500 Bichons Oh, in my home. goodness. Wow. So, and it's not just in the Tulsa area. No. People looking in from all across the country. You can arrange for transportation. Right? Oh, you can. Yes, that uh -huh. is fantastic. And your website? www.smallpawsrescue.org. Okay. We're always looking for adoptive homes for volunteers. And of course, every day, it cost us approximately $1,800 per day in veterinary expenses. Oh, and we're right. all, we run completely by donations. Where's that money? Oh, so donations. All donations. We don't have any kind of you know government help or anything. We're all just a private organization. So we count on just people to help us that love these animals and love what we do. Well, right. people would like more information, Small Paws Rescue. Rescue.org. Yes, Fantastic. and so we really are grateful for Fox and Friends for having us here. I, absolutely. Been a couple of years. It's been it's a few times. It's our seventh time to come, and we're just so grateful. Because right. when you're on, this helps a lot. You know, when we told people we were going to be on this time, we had so many emails from people saying, we've been volunteers now for four years because we saw you on Fox and Friends. Oh, we great. adopted our dogs because we found you on Fox and Friends. So thank you so much for that. Let's really see what we can do today. Fun. Thank right. you so much. Come on and let the good time roll. We gon' stay here till we soothe our souls. If it take all night long, gotta tell you.